Boys and girls, how's it going? Alex here in the very, very north end of the city. And, uh, yeah, why do I say we're at the very north end of the city? Because this here is Steeles Avenue East, and this border is the city of Toronto proper, which is right there. I didn't even realize that there's a sign right there. I could have just started off with that. Jeez, anyway, I'm not, I'm not gonna start the video again, but that's about as best as I can get. So there's a sign that greets you into the city of Toronto. And on this side right here, where I'm standing in, is the city of Markham, which is in York region. And of course, this is the, as I just mentioned, this is Steeles Avenue, right at Don Mills Road. I got off Route 25C and filmed a ride on it. And it looks like this, it looks like this, this used to be a Shell gas station, I can see the yellow background, or I could be wrong. It was, it was definitely a gas station by the looks of it, of course. Look at that, there it is, Town of Markham. Whatever you want to call it, though. Uh, it's another gorgeous spring-like day. 15th of, uh, sorry, no, it's 15 Celsius outside. Today being the... What are we today? Today is the... 3rd of April, 2023, here comes a YRT bus on Route 3 Thornhill. That's a new flyer D40 LFR. I think I've been in one of these once. Though I haven't been on YRT since last month. So currently we're in Markham right now. And on the other side of Steeles is of course the North York Borough of Toronto. I just had this very last second idea to film a walking video. I haven't done a walking video along Steeles Avenue East yet. Though I know uh, it's more populated when you get to uh, Kennedy and Midland, mainly because you got two uh, Chinese uh, shopping malls and plazas. That, that specific area, is, it's, it's, uh, they have a huge Chinese population. Same thing with this, uh, same thing with this area. Markham, Richmond Hill, and this part of North York, you name it. And there's Route 53, Steeles East. Here's a good thumbnail moment here. So that's the bus I'm going to be taking back to uh, probably Finch Station. I'm going to try and film a ride on a 935 after three weeks ago. You saw that the driver thought that I took his freaking picture. And that pissed me off. Whoa, what did this, what this used to be? This is a shopping plaza here, but it appears this used to be a little... Uh, Store, department store. Bobby's out. Ah, uh, Bobby's outlets. You think they would add like a a freaking Sears uh, back then, or something? But this is the shops on uh, Steels and Four or Four. Yes, there's Highway Four or Four right up there. It becomes a Don Valley Parkway when you hit uh, Highway Four or One. It's been a while since I filmed a walking video long, <laughs> a video in uh, Markham as well. Last time I was in Markham was back in November. I filmed, I think, two walking videos and a couple bus rides. This used to be something right here. I, I am not familiar with this area. I have never been here on foot before. So no, <laughs> obviously I do not know what this used to be. Maybe this used to be a keg or some kind of steakhouse, steakhouse bar and grill. I don't know. I can, as I mentioned before, I can always check uh, the freaking Google Street View and uh, and because uh, you know <laughs> it's 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 a big it's a bit of a difference. Whoa, there's a Kanji Queen here. That's a new chain of uh, Thai restaurants. Of course, there's one at Young and uh, Gerard downtown. And there's another one somewhere, but I didn't know there's one here. I don't think it's a, I don't think it's a, it's surprising to uh, see here because, as I mentioned, this part of town has a has a huge Asian population, and uh, these are some little uh, townhouses, I believe. I have no idea what neighborhood that is to the south, but we're just going to uh, go with the flow here. As the camera is out of focus, I did not even realize that. There we go. Maybe I can check on Google Maps right now and uh, and see. Oh, this is the neighborhood of Hillcrest Village. Oh, so that's where it is. 
We had a couple of neighborhoods uh, named Hill, named after Hillcrest, and uh, Hillcrest Village is uh, one of them. Again, it's a very nice spring day, though we are getting some uh, rain midweek. But other than that, we're double digits. And of course, I am wearing just a sweater. <laughs> it's hard to believe it's already April. It's my last month of the uh, of my first year in university. I got exams at the end of the month, and then I'm free. So yes, you bet your ass I'm gonna be uh, going out a lot, doing what I do, wherever you may find me in the GTA. And I really do want to go back to uh, Niagara Falls, mainly to catch a ride in the old uh, Detroit Diesel Orion 7s. They still have them in service, of course. When I went to Niagara Falls at the time, there were none in service, so I, I, but I, and so I rode a, a Nova Arctic uh, that time. I also want to go back, to, I want to also make a visit to Hamilton. It's been a, over a year since I've filmed a video there. I don't know if I want to film HSR though, which is Hamilton Street Railway. I'm not really a, I'm not really fond of the buses they have there, and especially the fact that they're that half of the buses there are powered by natural gas. No friggin' way. Probably not. Also, my cousin Andrew, he he lives and works there, but uh, he told me that uh, I think he's uh, moving to Ottawa. I'm not gonna. St- uh, I'm not gonna say why it's, it's family private information, but he is. Mo- I think he might be moving there. I was not a bad place, of course, and I definitely wouldn't mind going back there, and you know, film walking videos and uh, OC transport videos, just like I did in 2021. It was a good. It was a great time. So here is Highway 404, which is one of many 400 series highways in Southern Ontario, and of course, they are owned by the province partly cloudy not bad at all I like it oh shit maybe I could have crossed over to the other side and get a good view looking south that would have been better damn it Mainly because when you're over the highway, there's probably a good chance you might see the uh, CN Tower and downtown skyline. Now this area up ahead is a pretty uh, commercialized area. A lot of office buildings, corporate offices. I don't know where I'll end my video. I've been filming for eight minutes now. That's not even long at all. So maybe I could carry this on to Victoria Park. And then I'll hop on the uh, 53 bus and head to uh, either Finch Station or Young Street. We can just transfer to the uh, 60. Even though I was just on that route two days earlier, I was filming a ride on a hybrid Nova to, uh, well, from Pioneer Village to uh, Finch. But uh, I want to refilm the uh, ride on the 935. Well, actually, I forgot to mention the reason why I'm refilming that ride. Because number one, not only that the bus, not only that the, the bus I was on, a driver told me that I can't take uh, fucking pictures or videos. But the, but it was still winter at the time, and the windows were so freaking dirty on the OG hybrid. So it's uh, weather's looking good now, and I think it should be better. Not much of a view here. I don't regret it. I'm also wearing sunglasses. It's kind of hard for me to see what's happening with the camera, if it's in focus or not. Oh, look at this damn good view here. Look at to the east. Wow, it is busy. Whew. So I got a thumbnail opportunity at the start. Maybe I'll grab one right here. So here's my second candidate, as I always do. If I have two great thumbnails, I put them up on on a on my community tab. 
and uh, put it as a poll so you guys can vote which one is better. You know, I wouldn't mind filming some elevators around here because a lot of the office buildings were look, look like they were built in the 80s or 90s and they may have some vintage elevators in there. I don't know. Oh, there's Woodbine Avenue. So this is where Woodbine starts. Of course, this is a resumption of uh, the other Woodbine Avenue, which is in the East York Borough and heads all the way down into into the uh, the beaches. I had I had like I have like many ideas to come back. To, to come back to this part of Markham and uh, and film a walk here on Woodbine and other industrial streets because you know I, I like industrial areas. Nice truck right there. Whoa, shit! Look at all this fucking dust. Jesus. I am so glad I'm not wearing my new shoes. Oh man. That would have been pretty, pretty, pretty bad. Anyway, I don't think I'll cross over to the other side. There's nothing really interesting on the uh, TO side. So for the, so I think for, I think for this video, I'm just gonna call this walking Steeles Avenue East in Markham, Ontario. Busy. I am unlikely gonna film a ride on that on uh, the 53 because it's busy. It's a heavily used route. Oh, but I can uh, easily cross with uh, 20 seconds left on the clock. Courtyard Marriott over there. I recently filmed a video on Woodbine Avenue, so I'm not gonna come back here just yet. Maybe like in the maybe like later spring or summer. Oh shit, the light has changed. Yeah, look at this. Retro office building. I was gonna say, you know, when my dad and I would sometimes say drives up into Markham, you know, on the 404. I'd always look at the the office buildings, and I know there's a Dell office somewhere. It's a very huge uh, computer PC manufacturer, and they have an office around here. I don't know, or I don't know if they still do. I would like to go inside these buildings and see if there's any vintage elevators, but. Uh, I'm t but the thing is, though, it's, it's a risky, it's, it's a risk uh, elevator enthusiasts have to take because technically it's private property, and they, and uh, yes, I mean, I'm sure people got to understand that uh, we all like elevators, but also people who work in those office buildings, they do have the right to ask you to leave or kick you out because it's a it's private property, so and. Uh, I I probably get charged with uh, criminal trespassing, which is not good at all. All I could do is just take one or take one ride, and that's it. But it's, this also depends on how busy the elevators are. So, what a great idea to film a walking video here. I never knew there'd be so much commercial activity here, and I, it's the right choice. I know I, I could have done I could have done steals just right by Pacific Mall and Splendid China, but uh, uh, I'm gonna plan that out for another video. I already feel like taking on my sweater. I mean, I know it's it's definitely it already feels like spring outside, so I mean, I don't see why not.
Oh, and I think I see Victoria Park Avenue up ahead. Yeah, I'm kind of tempted to go into these buildings, but probably not. Maybe I'll just hop on the 53 and go, go to Finch. Well, of course, what the thing is, though, the 53, it turns down Young to Finch Station, and then you got to like, transfer onto the 60, which goes up Young, and then obviously heads west along Seals. I don't think it hurts just to go down to Finch to transfer, but to save time, it's probably best to uh, get off at Young Street and cross over to the other side and then catch the 60. Tangerine? There's an office here? And Tim Hortons? What the hell? Oh look, there's a piece of land over there. Unused. And that's typical here in Markham. Oh yeah, there's a sign up there for Tangerine. So that's in there. But what about, I didn't know Tim Horton's uh, offices are right here. Oh, this is a Japanese shopping center. I didn't even know that. Hmm. It's a shopping center. Maybe I could, uh, Possibly, maybe I could head in there instead and find an elevator again. I mean, I've never, I've never really been here before, and uh, it, I think it's worth checking out. Ontario College of Traditional Chinese Medicine. Nice. I know that's another short video, but I, I am nearing the end. There's nothing else to see, so we're going to wrap it up at Victoria Park Avenue. So this is a walking video literally in the entire city of Merkham. Despite that Steeles is the border of Toronto and York Region. I don't know when the next 53 is coming. Or actually, I don't know. I can't see, but uh, because of these damn trucks. A little bit of blue sky. At least. I only caught one way or two bus at the start of the video. But I haven't seen any since then. Though I know there's a... There's a YRT route that goes down Victoria Park Avenue to Don Mills Station. But ain't wasting a never fair. Ain't, ain't wasting a fare. However, with the government and Metrolux announcing that the fares will be completely integrated with Go Transit and all the other GTA systems with a TTC, it's gonna be a game changer. So I'm I'm really looking forward to that. That looks like a shopping mall, but it's not. It's 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 a big ass office. With what purpose? I don't even know. Oh, there's a bus. Maybe I'll quickly take a peek inside the uh, J Town Center. See, there's see, there's an elevator there, and then I'll just uh, head to Fitch. So that's it, guys. Uh, that's all. So thanks for watching, and uh, yeah, if you enjoyed this, uh, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't already, as always. Stay tuned for more walking videos like these. I also do, uh, I also film uh, rides on the TTC bus, subway, streetcar, and I also film elevators. I'm a, as I just mentioned, I'm an elevator enthusiast and I post uh, mostly vintage old ones or the ones that just stand out to me, whether they're modern or not. Enjoy your month of April. Happy spring. Oh, and I forgot, it's a short week because we have, it's the Easter long weekend. So again, happy Passover, happy Easter to those that celebrate, and uh, have a great one. Take care, guys. Adios. Bye-bye.